Back in the A, I could not wait. Finally, my friends picked me up from the airport, being drama, of course. Can't it's take so me. Long. It's so sad. It's so I just it's got so back to Atlanta. I just got back to Atlanta, and you already can't take That is so sad. I told y'all as soon as we walked through the door. Oh, then. Okay. Oh, <laughs> We're back in the A. Okay. Bring me out the place that I've been knocking brand new. It's giving. It's giving. Period. Good morning. Feeling really nice and good. Just wanted to come in on this good morning and serve you all body yaddy for breakfast. Mmm. Body yaddy yaddy yaddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that silhouette, baby. It's all there. Just wanted to show you all the breakfast that I am preparing. Um, we have some sausages, bacon, some boiled egg, bacon grease. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I did boil these um, before. Look at this grease everywhere, child. It's like, why you cooking breakfast? This is the morning meal. We have our boiled eggs. Strawberries, pineapples, bacon, your girl's best friend, sausages, and potatoes. Good meal for breakfast. Big breakfast, but a good meal. So I would eat a light lunch. But this is a really good meal to continue to feed the fat. What's the hey, line for, um, for uh, TSA? I am on my way to a massage appointment. This is how we're riding with these crazy ones driving me. I'm like slamming and going everywhere. Everything is slimming down. I just wanted to show you all how the rides are going to be. On my way to the masseuse, I'll get with you all then. Okay. We are back in Atlanta. Um, I got here late last night and just relaxed. Got myself together. Um, the plane did have me a little swell, a little aching, um, but I already had a massage booked um, for the next day. I like med and therapy spa. Uh, I'm going to Cynthia, so we're going to see what she do, um, how her work is, how her massages are. I'm so used to the Colombian um, masseuses that were doing my massages, so now I have to like re get used to someone else. Hopefully that goes well. But this is what I'm giving today. Just a little faha. Some little big oversized sweat. Space. This is the spa that I'm at. This is Miss Lydia. This is her spa. She's from Colombia. I heard a lot of great things about her. Hopefully she'll get a chance to touch my body. But this is her suite. Hey guys, so we are inside of Cynthia's office. Really cute, simple and spa-like. She has a sign that says, hello gorgeous. So I'm about to get undressed. So she can start my massage. Is I wanted to invite you all to enjoy this experience with me. I wasn't able to do much filming because everything is new. So there's only so much I can get when it comes to the massages and the training. But today I do have you all with me and I just want her to come in. She's gonna talk as she's going and just tell you all certain things. And I will link everything and all of her information in the bio. Get into it, y'all, baby. Look at that hip and that ass, baby. Go, Cynthia, girl. She is getting me right with this ultrasound, breaking this fluid down, easing this swelling out. We are looking really good. I'm so happy with my results. I love my post-op care that I have been receiving. Oh, girl, look at that shape in that phone, honey. Mm -hmm. That's all your hard work. Period. You eat well. I know you eat well. 
you don't drink you know you do well thank you i follow direction plan yes because all of these tips have been for you and i've been really doing what mama suit has been telling me to do it comes down to everything the tea you drink mm -hmm. the water how much water you take i mean the food you eat it's so important i mean I'm, me myself i just had surgery in march and i was back to work after a month and a half why because i ate right i made mm -hmm. sure to drink plenty of water and do everything that i needed to do and that's what we give you here if somebody does this all the time mm -hmm. they don't know how to massage okay oh I'm or really if they do sometimes i sometimes i see it like this oh yes then that'd be hurting mm -hmm. that's not okay and she is Colombia. I wanted to stay in the Colombia family because I love the way that they were doing my massages in Colombia at the recovery house. So it was really important for me to find someone who is Colombia. And I looked up and found her. Like I said, I am almost two months post-op. So I'm at very minimum pain. Um, I do have still some soreness, but it's not like really pain. So I just wanted you guys to be able to see it. Do I have a lot of fluid still, Cynthia? No. Okay, so very minimum fluid. We are in Walmart doing a little grocery shopping. I need to keep up with these three meals a day. I came and got some good fresh stuff for my diet so I can make sure I'm eating everything that i'm supposed to be eating hey dolls i am back from the grocery store i just wanted to come in as i wind down i'm actually really really tired so i'm gonna take a nap i have a long day ahead of me tomorrow i have to get my hair done and handle some errands so i'm about to lay it down but i did want to come in and just discuss the chin lipo for a second because I feel like I haven't had a chance to really break that down or go in depth about it. So I just wanted to give you a few things about the chin lipo. Very minimum pain with the chin lipo. You only have three incisions, which is here, here, and then they go underneath. The scars are not really visible, very small little spots. And you're supposed to massage them 10 minutes a day just to keep the bruising down. It's really been no pain with the chin lipo. Um, it was a little bruising. One thing I will say that I do not enjoy about the chin strap strap is that it leaves discoloration around the perimeter of the face. And for all of you who know me, you know I'm a skin girl, so that is like a big pet peeve of mine. But I'm not really that too much worried, thanks to my skincare line, that I need all of my dolls to go check out. On Instagram, it is Glow with Chloe, G-L-O-W-W-I-T-H-K-H-L-O. It is an all-natural product, organic ingredients. I use no chemicals, and I do make it myself from, from scratch, so make sure you guys check that out. I'm currently using my Sweet Caramel, which has turmeric inside of it. So that's gonna help me with all of my dark spots and the discoloration that the chin strap is causing. And you guys will notice that as I go, you'll see like discoloration and bruising, but it's very normal. Definitely gonna need a good skin regimen. And I would love for you all to include Glow with Clo in your skincare routine and you would definitely see a change. The website is www.glowwithclo.com. So make sure you girls go check that out. Get back with you all after my hair appointment tomorrow. Good morning. I just wanted to come in and just chit chat with you all on breakfast time and let you guys see what I'm eating and what my day consists of. The time is 10 a.m. in the morning. And today I just cooked something simple. I just cooked me a little breakfast sandwich with bacon, egg, and cheese. And I have my tea. My Annika tea, this is really, 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 really major throughout your recovery. So make sure you have a lot of these. I got these from Amazon and it was like, I think $7 for a box of three. So definitely make sure you get these. 
I am in my Faja currently still. Everything is looking amazing, looking good. <laughs> still in love with my results and my vitamins that I'm gonna be taking this morning. If you could see those. My iron pills, of course. Hopefully you can see those. My turmeric. And my B12. Of course, I love me some B12. And, mm, I love me some crispy bacon. So the arnica tea is really good. Um, it helps with swelling, bruising, pain, aching, like it's a really good tea for you to be using for your recovery. I drink it three times a day um, before every meal. Um, and it just gets your fluid going. Um, Y'all know I'm here to keep it 100% real with you all. So we're gonna get on the topic of smoking marijuana while recovering. <laughs> no, but just me being honest, um, some people feel different about it. I did do my research. I did ask doctors about it. And some, some say that it is good. That's with anxiety, pain. For those who thought how I thought, you would not lose fat, but you do have to make sure if you're gonna be smoking, make sure you're only smoking past the time frame that you're allowed to be smoking again. Make sure that it's out of natural things like a natural leaf or papers, no tobacco. And make sure you stay on your eating regimens, making sure that if you are smoking, make sure that it's not going to affect your appetite because you definitely want to continue to feed the fat. You see Miss Mama's is not playing. Everything is still nice and round and going. Mm -hmm. Period. I haven't drunk yet. I'm not really a big drinker. And I did hear that alcohol makes you swell up really bad. So I haven't really drunk yet. It's been two months for me. I hey, lovebirds. It is a gloomy day in Atlanta. I'm a little stuffy, but I'm out walking the kiddos. And my Baja looking sexy, giving body. Everything is going so good. I am still getting my massages. So I am not playing. I'm keeping up with everything. Your girl had to go get her hair done. I was sick of looking in a mess in the house. So I was like, you know, let me go get my hair done. Make me feel a little good about myself because I can't really party. However, I did try to go out one weekend or whatever, but I just wasn't feeling it. My body wasn't reacting to it well. I really didn't want to sit on my butt. So I just did yeah, enjoyed it. I ended up going home really early. So I haven't been out. Next week is one of my best friend's birthday. I'm going to my hometown, Virginia. So I'm gonna try it again. I got some bomb fits to give the girls in the hometown. And hopefully we just have a good time. And my body allows me to be out. I haven't had alcohol yet, so I may try to drink, but I don't know. I'm not really a big drinker anyway. Hey, dolls. We are back, and I am feeling pretty good. Um, a lot of the swelling has went down. I'm still swell. I'm coming up on a month post-op. And this is the body. I massage with pure coconut oil. So we're gonna be just bringing all the fluid to the bottom. You can melt it or you can post it. So you can see the hand motion. Bring it all down. Bring it all that fluid down. <laughs> and y'all have to excuse me on this little mismatch. I couldn't find the top to this old, ugly bathing suit. So I just threw a little misguided top on. Do the same thing. I have to get myself warmed up when it comes to my sides, cause my sides still have a little 
pain and soreness to them. So let me get my stuff warmed up and then I'll show you how I go in on them. Put some pressure on it once you get your stuff warmed up. If you're sad. My abs haven't started coming in yet. But I can see the definition of them. So for the arms, they like go just from here to here. Ooh. And you just want to bring all that fluid down. You can kind of see the fluid moving down. Put some pressure. Underneath, pull it down. You can see. See, I still have some fluid in this area. I have an appointment tomorrow and I'm gonna get her to take the needle and get the fluid out. So those of you who are not really familiar with the needle part, that part is only used when they kind of have areas that they cannot get the fluid out. So they will take the syringe and they will insert it out of you. So one thing I will say that I definitely, definitely, definitely like that Columbia does that I guess they don't do in the United States. So let me show you. In Columbia, as you get your massages, as we know, the skin does heal on its own. So some days, you know, it will, you know, try to close up. Baby in Columbia, they go pop it right back open. They continue to get that fluid out. So the fluid is coming out every day. Um, I have some holes here too. And then one in the top of the um, butt crack to it, but it's still kind of swole and hard. It's really heavy right here. This is where he went in. Um, he also put some in at the top. So that's still kind of hard and stuff. I also got lipo in my bra areas. Cause those are like stubborn fat. Pushing all of it to like your armpit area. Bring the back forward to the um, armpit area as well. Hey my dolls, what's going on? It's your girl Chloe Marie, the Black Barbie. We are here for cocktail time, part two of the reveal. I am here to give you girls all the scoop, all the latest tea on my BBL journey and answer some. First, let's do a toast to all of my upcoming dolls who are looking to get surgery or are inquiring about surgery, don't know where to start. This toast is for you. Cheers. I have a list of questions that you all have asked, so let's get right into it. So shout out to my girl, two-tone underscore, so pretty. Um, she had a lot of great questions. Her first question was, what made you choose Dr. Pina? So to be honest, I researched Dr. Pina for a whole year before actually deciding to go to him. And my main factors were um, making sure that he was board certified, also making sure that his death rate was low or if not any death rate at all. Um, also, my main thing that I always tell girls when you are looking for, you are researching his Instagram or researching his website to look and see if he's doing other girls that have similarities or are similar to your body type that was my main focus i wanted to make sure it was the same frame somewhat of most girls of what he was doing um i was never a big girl i actually had to gain weight for my surgery so that was another factor that played in me choosing dr pina i noticed that he doesn't do a lot of like heavy set girl or bigger girls. Not saying that he can't, but um, this is just in my thought process as I'm doing my research. So that was a main key. Another thing that I would say about choosing your daughter is making sure that he does the body frame that you're going for or the illusion or however you want to put it. Just making sure that that's what he specialized in. And I knew that I wanted a Colombian look, kind of like a club vixen video girl look. That was the illusion that I was going for. So that played a big factor on 
me choosing my doctor. Um, another question was, did I have doubts about going out the country? No, <laughs> absolutely not. It's no shade. I just knew that I did not want to have any U.S. doctor um, on my body. It's no shade to USA doctors. I feel USA doctors are great at what they do. However, um, as we all know, there's only so much fat that a USA doctor can take out by law, and that just wasn't cutting it for me. Like, I needed, I knew that I had a lot of different areas that I wanted lipo in, so I just needed to go somewhere that it was going to be no limitations on removing my fat. Another question was, how many days do you have to stay in the country? I believe it's only a total of... 12 to 14 days however i stayed a stay a total of 18 days it was a main factor for me to just make sure that i can get as many as extra massages as i could and i also did not want to get on a flight with a lot of fluids still in my body so i just stayed extra days to make sure that i had the full proper care before heading back to the usa Another question my girl Two Tone underscore so pretty had was what is the difference between USA doctors and overseas doctors? So for me, as I already stated, um, we all know that USA doctors by law can only take out so much fat. So that was another thing. I just feel like I haven't really seen anyone in the United States that really gives that illusion of like sexy Colombian vixen that I personally was going for. Now let's keep in mind, everyone has a different look. Um, everyone has different inspirations. Like everyone body type is different. Everyone body goals are different. These are just my goals, what I like and what I wanted. And I just wanted a different illusion that I felt like I didn't see in my research with a United States doctor. The pain level. I told y'all I'm Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Them massages, baby. Them massages are no, no joke. If it was just a surgery, like if I just had to get the BBA and it was nothing after that, I would be good. Like, of course, it's discomfort, but actually no real pain. You're just in a lot of discomfort because, of course, you can't move and do as you please, but the massages, they hurt for dear life. It's like, you know, your skin go through so much trauma, so your skin is also like raw, and they're digging in, like, in your surface to push all of the fluid out. So, so if I had to give the goddamn massages a pain level by itself, baby, it would be a 20. One out of 10, I'm giving it a 20, baby. They're no joke. But you'll get through it, baby. As I said, you want it? Mm. So the next question is, oh, can I talk about Dr. Pina? Dr. Pina is amazing. He's super sweet. He's patient. He's very informative, very knowledgeable. Like I, that was like one of my main concerns was making sure like I wasn't going to get rushed during my consultation because you do get your consultation the day of the surgery. And originally I did not like that. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? But he was really sweet. He lets you take your time. Even before he's like marking down on your body, he just come in, you get to know him, y'all conversate, y'all talk, he asks what you're looking for, and then that's when you would get nude, and he wants you to look as he's marking on your body, so you can correct anything that maybe he's not doing, or maybe you don't agree with, and y'all can just converse and figure out, you know, what's going to be the best shape for you, but you have all the time in the world, he does not rush you. Um, his nurses and the people that work for him are really sweet and kind. I will say, make sure that you download the translator on your phone before going to Colombia because a lot of them don't speak English or their English is not that great. So keep that in mind to make sure that you have the translator, even with Dr. Pina. He speaks great English, but it was still certain things that I would translate just to make sure he knows exactly what I'm asking for and knows exactly what I'm looking for. So keep that in mind. The next question was, 
How was the flight going back? Um, it was okay. I live in Atlanta, as you all know. It was a six hour flight. I did end up flying first class coming back. Um, that was always the plan, just to make sure that I had that extra room, extra leg room. I will say during the flight, um, I was so focused on not sitting on my butt. So I wasn't really too much concerned about sleep anyway. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't putting too much pressure on my butt. Once they do the unbuckle seat thing, you are able to switch around and sit on your knees, but you're only allowed to do that once they don't have the light on for the seat belt. And make sure that you are walking around a lot during the time that you are able to walk on the plane because you want to keep your blood flow going. You don't want your feet to swell. And also make sure that you do have on your compression socks going back home so you can keep your swelling down and all of that. Um, the next question was, which airport? It is CLO and is located in Cali, Colombia. The next one, oh, I want to make sure that I make this a big thing so you all can understand because that's why I ended up missing my original flight with American Airlines and had to fly with Spirit. You have to make sure that you do your declaration papers beforehand. So make sure that you are communicating with whoever you're in contact with, whether it's email or WhatsApp. Make sure that you're communicating with them so you can have that a few days before your flight because I got it at the last minute and didn't know anything about it and ended up missing my flight. Also, I want to make sure that I tell you girls, mm -hmm. um, you do have to have your flight coming back book or they would not let you board. That was another mix up that I had at the airport that had pissed me off. You have to have a flight going. I even tried to, you know, let them know like, you know, I'm catching a buddy pass on the way back through my cousin, but they don't go for it. I guess going into another country, being that you have to do the decoration and all of that matter, you have to have proof that you're coming back to whatever country you reside in. So keep that in mind. Another question was, can I talk about how I gained weight for my surgery? Um, so I had a girlfriend who was like, she's a really skinny girl and she has a BBL. And I knew it was going to be hard for me to gain weight because I have an athletic body. I have always did sports coming up. So I called my homegirl and I'm asking her, like, you know, girl, I'm taking the pediment. Um, I don't even really know if this is good for my body, but I'm taking it. I will say I had no problems with the pediment. I drank two bottles of those over like a month and a half. But I did stop taking the pediment because I heard that it was not FDA approved. So I did stop taking it, but I didn't have any problems in the midst of taking it. So my main secret was you get you two raw eggs, two scoops of ice cream and milk and you blend that and drink it every night before you go to sleep and we all know if you eat on a full stomach you gain weight so do that for all of my dogs who have hard time gaining weight or want a bbl but don't have the weight to get a bbl it's two raw eggs two scoops of ice cream and milk and you blend that every night before you go to sleep do it every day you do want to keep track of your bmi as you're gaining weight because you know, with any doctor, if you're being my, well, not any doctor, let me say that, because we do have some doctors that'll take any of the girl's coin. But if you have a good doctor and they're concerned about your health and don't want any deaths on their hand, BMI is a main factor. So as you're gaining weight, just make sure that you keep track of your BMI. And then another question was, what is the transportation? So, you do get free rides with the booking of your surgery. I think it's like four free rides, if I'm not mistaken. One ride is the pickup from the airport. The next free ride is the pickup from the recovery house to your labs. Uh, is the pickup from the recovery going to the clinic to get the surgery and back. And then your last free ride is going back to the airport. Um, they do have Uber over there if you want to take Uber, but they also have a driver, um, which is my girl Nadi and her husband. They're really sweet. They'll take you anywhere you need to go, or you can just contact them through WhatsApp 
and they'll get anything you need from the store and you just give them the money once they drop off. So that's your four free rides. Keep that in mind. You do get two free Fajas with the surgery, your stage one and your stage two. You will have to purchase your stage three. You can either do that there or you could do it when you get back home. I wanted to get my stage three in Colombia because Dr. Pena actually helps design the Faha, so I wanted to get one while I was there. So you get 10 free massages with the surgery as well. I had a total of like 23 massages, if I'm not mistaken. It was like a total of 23. I had two massages a day. Don't quote me, but I believe the second massage a day is either from $30 to $50, if I'm not mistaken, and I got the two massages every day. I got all of my fluid out, so I was like on it with the massages. Shout out to my girl, Mafi. Once you girls get over there, please get in contact with Mafi. Um, you can get in contact with me as well. I'll exchange her WhatsApp and her Instagram to you all. She's great. She's a masseuse. Now, Miss Mafia don't play. She's tough. She's hard, but she's going to mold your body. She's going to get all of that fluid out. All of it. She's going to get you right. It is going to be painful, but Miss Mamas is going to do you in. So just keep that in mind. Her name is Mafia. Another question was, even though this is not part of my BBL journey, but it's all about surgery. So I'm gonna give it to you girls. A lot of my dolls are asking about my twins, okay? They're identical. I went to Dr. Paul McCuskey in Atlanta. He is great. And I got a high profile. As you all know, it's three profiles. High profile, medium profile, and low profile. I went with the high because as we all know, real or fake, your boobs will drop over time. So I wanted to just make sure that I had that high profile so when they do get settled in and drop, they will still look amazing. They will still be sitting pretty. Can you all believe that my babies are like five years old? So can we get like a little drum roll, please? Ah! Everyone is asking about the price. The price, the price, the price, the price. <sighs> Let me take a sip. Baby, are y'all ready to get it? Now, I wasn't going to give y'all my price point because I don't have time. I don't have time for the girls to be going to Dr. Pena trying to get my price or be going in there and say what I said. Every girl is different. Everyone price is going to be different. Everyone experience is going to be different. So please keep that in mind. Okay, because y'all know I'm not even one of those girls. I don't get keep, baby. I'm going to give y'all everything. So... Okay, let's do a price breakdown. So, for the surgery alone, which I was quoted for a BBL, 360 lipo, and ab etching. That was only 5,500, baby. Yes. 5500 I gagged myself. I just knew it was going to be about 10000 for everything that I wanted, baby. I had it ready for and to throw it at it. Like, I just knew it. But it was only 5500 for those. Now, I ended up paying a total of 6500 because I did get arm lipo and I got chin lipo. And those are 500 a piece. My quote, my price. So I don't know how much it may be for anyone else, but 500 extra for the lipo and the chin. So it came to a total of 6,500. And like I said, that included the 10 free massages, the two fajas, and it comes with the medication that you need. And I did also get blood cell saver, which is really good. Not that I needed it, but I just got it to be on the safe side. And don't quote me, but I believe that the correct term for, or the correct explanation for the blood cell savior is with whatever blood that they take out of you, they reclean it through the plasma and put it back in you. Don't quote me, but I believe that's how it goes. So I did get that, and that was included in the 6,500. So 
Yes, girl, it was only 6,500 I gagged myself. Um, I thought it was gonna be like 10 bands. So I was just like, ooh, when he said that, I hurry up and had started counting again when the money baby take it. You can have it, <laughs> okay? And you may can find somewhere in the United States that'll do your body for 65 or 5,000, but Mr. Mama, it's not going to look like this. I'm sorry. I just feel like the U.S. dollar is not, they're not giving the girls what they need. They're not giving them the hips and the body arty. So keep that in mind, okay? I hope I have answered all of my doll's questions. Of course, if you need anything else, you can comment or you can hit me up on Instagram, which is Splashy Money, S-P-L-A-S-H-Y-M-O-N-E-Y. You can hit me up there. You can DM me. You can ask me anything you need. I got you. We are all in this together, especially if you are a doll. If you are a Barbie doll, baby. Come on over to this playhouse. You can also email me at gwkscan at email.com. I also want you all to take a look at my business page, which is my skincare line, which is Glow With Chloe. I have an all natural product skincare line, no chemicals used. Check that out. I did get a lot of compliments on my skincare and my skin in the video. So I'm a big thank you to that. We'll talk about more about my skincare line. My YouTube is gonna be a personal vlog. I'm let everyone get into it. You know, I want us to be a family over here. So we're gonna get into all of that. But I just wanted my introduction to be about the BBL because I know my dolls love to go lay on the table. So I just want to give y'all the scoop and the tea. So, as promised, I had to come in and show all of my dolls my reveal. To tie on the body, loose, comfortable little dress, giving hips in the front, side view, the ass is assing. So, I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like in like a loose little dress. And this actually could have even been smaller. Now, I know that my dolls would have been dragging me if I did not come in and really let you all get into the body and show you the hips and the curves. So I just put on this little sexy bathing suit to show you the body. And here, I just wanted to throw on a little pair of jeans so I could show you how it sits on the hips and how the ass is assing. Thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for all of my updates.